Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, Environmental Studies, Lesson 11, Nature of Matter, Part 5. Now part 1, 2, 3 and 4 of this lesson, we learnt that what is a matter? What are the different states of matter? What are the properties of matter? So what are the properties of matter? Matter occupies space and matter has mass. Then what are the different states of matter? Solid, liquid and gas. Now today's class, we are going to learn about changes in states of matter. There are three states of matter, children, solid, liquid and gas. Solid means the molecules or the particles are very tightly packed. Liquids means it is a little loosely packed when compared to the solids. Then gas, it is very loosely packed or it is very far, uh, far apart. The molecules or the small particles are far apart. Now we'll begin with change in state of a matter. So I'm reading out from page number 146. Follow it with your textbooks. Please use pencils to write the answers in your textbook. So changes in matter, when an object is heated, there will be a rise in its hotness. The state of matter changes due to heat. Always when you heat something, the state of that matter will change. Now one uh, beautiful example that I can give you is, if you have um, ghee in your house, usually during winter seasons, the key, ghee gets converted to solid states when just kept aside. So before serving the ghee, your mother takes it from the bowl, she heats it a bit and it converts to the liquid state. So that shows that the heat converts the state of the matter from solid to liquid, be it any matter. Now different matter respond in a different way to the heat. Some uh, will get converted to liquid. Some will directly become into uh, gas. Okay, so in uh, today's class, we will learn about what are these changes and how these changes are affecting our life. In your textbook, in page number 146, write the states of matter in following situation. Now, you have to write if it is uh, which state of uh, matter. Okay, so ice cubes on heating ice cube on heating it is water water on heating water water becomes water vapor vapor on cooling water water on cooling ice so matter changes state from one form to another form due to heat this change is this is called the change in states of matter on heating many solid change into liquid states effect of heat on a matter depend upon the level of hotness on increase of in the heat solid changes into liquid and liquid changes into gas in the same way on cooling gas gas changes into liquid and liquid changes into solid the way it goes it can come back also when you heat a solid let's take an uh, example of the ice cubes okay when you heat the ice cube it becomes water that is in the liquid state the ice cube was in solid state so when you heat it it became water when you heat the water more and more it gets converted to water vapor which is in the gas format okay the gaseous state of matter the same gaseous state of matter when you cool it down when you cool that uh, water vapor it gets converted to liquid first and from the liquid you can always make ice cubes that is back to the solid state this way heating all heating changes the state of matter then there is one activity in your textbook in page number 146. Take a broken piece of the glass bangle. By heating, bend it into required shape and stick it on the cardboard. You can do these things with a glass uh, bangles, broken bangles. You can, if you just heat it on the corner, it you can stick it like a plastic. Okay, take the help of your teachers or parents. Please take the help of your parents. Uh, parents and if you are interested you can do this activity at home you have learned from previous experiments that objects expand on heating objects expand on heating 
Now, there is one activity in page number 147. Blacksmiths change the sum metal into required shape by heating. Why is iron heated? Think and write here. Now, the answer for that question is iron and other metals become soft on heating. When it becomes soft, it becomes easier for the blacksmith to change the shape of that matter or of that iron or any other metal. Even gold uh, ornaments or silver ornaments which are made, they are heated first and then it is brought into different states that are different shapes which can be desirable to us. Next is heat transmit from one object to another. Example, ironing the clothes. When you are ironing the clothes, what happens? The iron box or your ironing object, it is hot. When you put it on your clothes, it heats up the cloth and makes it stiff. That is ironing of the clothes. That is heat transmits from one object to another. Usually uh, from higher temperature to lower temperature. It always passes from the higher temperature to lower temperature. Write an example for the change in an object due to heat. One best example is cooking of food. Whatever food you cook, it is heated. The state of the matter changes, isn't it? You add water. Water becomes, <coughs> water helps to cook the food. Next is sublimation. Sublimation. What is sublimation? There is one experiment to understand what is sublimation in page number 147. Take a few naphthalene balls in an evaporating dish. I don't suggest you to do these experiments at home. These are supposed to be done in the scientific labs. So please don't do it at home children. You can watch videos of uh, such experiments. Okay. Close it with a glass funnel as shown in the picture. In the picture how they have shown you have to just keep it on a glass and uh, close it with a glass funnel from the top take some cotton in uh, and close the other end of the funnel the other end of the funnel will be open so you just have to close it heat the dish slowly please don't heat very fast heat it very slowly naphthalene converts into milky vapor and will be collected in the inner side of the funnel stop heating and observe what happens right here what happens is naphthalene naphthalene remains in the solid form okay that some solids now we know that when solids are heated they convert first into liquid and then into vapor similarly on cooling the vapors are converted first into liquid and then into solid but some solids are on heating directly convert into their vapor state and vice versa without passing through the liquid state and this is called sublimation sublimation means some solids on heat directly convert into vapor state and vice versa vapor state means if the vapor is collected and it is cooled down it becomes back to the solid state without passing through the liquid state the intermediate state of the liquid state is not passed by these substances such substances are camphor and iodine camphor it is always available in your house or in canada it's called karpura Whenever your mother lights the karpura in your puja room, you can see there is no liquid state in between. The camphor directly when you heat, uh, when you uh, lamp light the camphor, it directly gets converted to the gas state. It this happens with iodine also. Iodine is a chemical. When heated, it gets converted to its gas state. Okay, it starts emitting purple color gas. The second picture that you can see on the down of the screen, that is the iodine. When heated, it gets converted to the uh, gas state. Such uh, changes are called sublimation what is it s-u-b-l-i-m-a-t-i-o-n sublimation next activity light a wax candle and observe what happens to the wax after some time now put off the candle and observe what happens to the melted wax right here what happens to that melted wax when the flame is on the candle melts then on putting off the flame the wax solidifies again you this is very uh, simple experiment when 
there's no power in your house you will have candles isn't it so then you can do this and see what are the changes and please write down the answers which are given on your screen give example for the following take the help of your teacher solid uh, changing to liquid then uh, liquid becomes solid solid on heating becomes gas then gas on cooling becomes solid for first one the example can be ice cubes turning into water then back to the ice cubes when you cool it then for the second example it can be a camphor okay so i hope you have understood till here children the remaining part of the lesson will complete cover it in the next video stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you